Right, we're back on golfing machine. Homer Kelly's golfing machine, making that simple again today. So my last two videos have clearly explained how complicated this book can be, how it's a 30 years worth of work that's gone into this book, so it's worth a lot of money. There's no cheap version of this, and neither should there be. So this tip's gonna help your short game, it's also gonna help impact, so it's gonna help your long game, as well as your short game, but certainly working on a short game drill is gonna allow you to adopt this action or position or alignment, however you look at it. So here we go, let's get the complicated bit done first. Remember, we're gonna break this down and make it as simple as possible for you. It's good to talk about the technical bit. Break that down, make it easy for everyone to enjoy. So 6B1D, extensor action in muscle power. Extensor action is exclusively the steady effort of straightening the bent right arm. Right arm's bent, straightening it, bingo. So what we're talking about today, I will read this one passage for you. Ignore how complicated this is right now because you know we're gonna make it easy. Extensor action gives an indispensable control of all strokes. Stretching the left arm through the number three pressure point gives the same action as pulling on both ends of the rope. That is, it pulls both the left arm and the club shaft tautly in a straight line. That, and just moving from the bent left wrist to the flat left wrist during and as the loading action are very effective for short shot procedures, as 10.19.0 explains. <laughs> Let's get into that. So here we go, making game simple from all the complicated stuff that we've just read in the book. So extensor action gives an indispensable control to all strokes. Extensor action is the bending and straightening of the right arm. If I punch somebody, I bend the right arm and then I straighten it as I hit them. It's not straight at the point of hitting, but it's straightening as I hit them. That's extensor action. So bending and straightening of the right arm. Done. That's that bit out of the way. Extensor action gives an indispensable control of all strokes. Stretching the left arm through the number three pressure point gives the same action as pulling on both ends of a rope. That's what we're talking about today. Pulling on both ends of a rope. Have a rope pull on both ends, pressure point number three and extensor action makes that happen. Okay, so we must identify what pressure point number three is. Pressure point number three is where the golf club sits, or the, the right index knuckle sits on the aft of the club where that makes contact. That point right there where my right index finger, the knuckle there makes contact on the aft of the club, on the back of the club right there, that is pressure point number three. There, 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 pushing through, pressure point number three. The right index finger touches the aft of the shaft, so it's the back of the shaft, not under, not on top, not in front of, but on the aft of the shaft. Right there, pressure point number three. Still complicated? Extensive action gives an indispensable control of all strokes. Stretching the left arm, stretching the left arm through pressure point number three gives the same action as pulling on both ends of a rope. So pressure point number three, and the bent right arm, so if that tries to straighten, it stretches my left arm. So as the right arm starts to straighten, or tries to straighten, the left arm's been stretched. We don't want to be wooden with the left arm. I know the left arm must stay straight. Homer Kelly disagrees, it must stay stretched. What stretches it? The right arm trying to straighten. And that's absolutely genius. I got the top of my swing here. Now this pressure point number three, as the right arm's trying to straighten, the left arm gets stretched. So that's what gives you the structure of the straight left arm. If I was to take there, if I get to the top of my swing, let's say it's there just for argument's sake, and I take my right hand off, take the pressure off the right hand where pressure point number three is, it would go that way and the left arm would come towards me. So the right arm's forcing this way, yet the left arm's coming back in. So the bent right arm and pressure point number three is what stretches the left arm straight. So all the way to the top. There, that stretched the left arm because the right arm's flexed. And then into impact, we come down and the right arm starts to straighten again or tries to straighten, which keeps the left arm straight. There's a structure in your golf swing. That's how you keep your left arm straight. Press point number three. So there, right arm, right arm's flexed there, you can see. And then if I take the right arm off, it goes this way, yet the left hand goes back that way because the right hand, press point number three, was stretching that straight. You can see the structure of the left arm from this pressure point. Quickly over that again, extensor action gives an indispensable control of all strokes. Extensor action, straightening the right arm, bending and straightening. Stretching the left arm through pressure point number three, which we know is there, gives the same action as pulling on both ends of a rope. So the left arm goes one way, right arm goes the other way. Then Homer Kelly continues, that and just moving from the bent left wrist to the flat left wrist, so bent left wrist to a flat left wrist because of pressure point number three, 
the loading action are very effective, is very effective for short, short procedure. So as we come into impact, the left wrist is bowed. As that goes to straight, the right arm's straightening. So therefore you feel as though the left arm's coming up the way and the right arm goes down the way. If I grip halfway down the shaft here and I come in there, the left wrist's bowed. So there's a slight bowing of the left wrist. Right arm's flexed, straight, flexed. And it should feel as though the right arm continues to straighten so it would go down the shaft, pulling one half of the rope. And then the left arm would come up the shaft so that's pulling the rope, so you're there, bowed wrist, and then it would separate. That's the feeling through impact. Now of course, both hands don't separate, so we can't pull the rope. So therefore you come into impact, left wrist bowed, and then the right arm starts to straighten. And of course you pull the rope. Both hands, left hands going upwards from there, the left hand starts to go, so there's bowed. Trying to get a good camera angle here, they are bowed there, right arm flexed. So then impact, left hand goes up the way, right hand goes down the way. And look at that alignment that gets you in there from there, the left hand goes up and the right hand comes down. And there's your alignment, there's your low point that we've talked about in the previous video with the left shoulder, left flat left wrist and club head, because the left hand there has effectively gone up as the right's gone down as the right arm straightened. That's your extension action. Did I mention I was going to keep this simple? <laughs> Just hang on. So now I grab a pitching wedge. I'm going to read that sentence one more time. We know that extension action is bending and straightening the right arm. It straightens through impact, it's not straight at impact. Because we punch somebody, we don't punch them with a the straight arm, we punch them as it's straightening. That's your extension action. Pressure point number three, we know is there. Stretching the left arm through pressure point number three gives the same action as pulling on both ends of a rope. That is, it pulls both the left arm and club shaft taut in a straight line. Taut in a straight line. Extensor action, pressure has been applied on pressure point number three. Left hand goes up, right arm straightens, puts us in a straight line. Impact. Great for short shots. Grab a wedge, feel that. There we go, just a little wedge. Up to there, right arm's flex, coming down. Pressure's been applied on the back of the shaft through impact from the pressure point number three. And therefore the left hand goes up. I get into my straight line at low point. There. Follow through, then finish. That's it. Right arm flex. Press point number three, right arm flexed, left wrist slightly bowed, straighten of the left wrist, right, arms right wrist, right arm sorry, continues to straighten, hit ball, straight line, continue through, done. Impact, down the line, coming down there, left wrist slightly bowed, right arm flexed, it's only the right pressure point, press point number three, it's in place, there, right arm straightens as we come into impact, impact, straightening through low point, through follow through, or through finish, follow through into finish, boom. And that whole action feels as though you're pulling two ends of a rope. Left hand goes up, right hand goes down. Left hand goes up, right hand goes down. Left hand goes up, right hand goes down. Left hand comes up as right hand goes down. Left hand goes up, right hand goes down. That is what Mr. Kelly's putting towards us there. Now this is obviously the same through impact for a full shot. But for short shots, left hand goes up, right hand goes down, absolutely pure. Left hand up, right hand down. That's all I'm thinking of there, is how the right arm straightens through impact as the left hand goes up. That's mini impact. I can do this all day. They are so good. Oh. That is just mini impact. Right arm flexed, pressure point number three. Pressure is going down the right bone. Ulna and radius going down there into pressure point number three. And that makes the left wrist lift up or straighten, left arm straighten, left 
wrist straighten, left hand go up. And of course that's what's keeping the left arm stretched through impact. Superb. Superb. Awesome. Then we get to full shot, same thing. Change my club now, let's go six iron, seven iron. <laughs> same thing, come into the shot there, as I come in there, left arm straightens. Left arm goes up, sorry, left hand. Right arm straightens through the shot. I feel pressure on the aft of the club. I'll just do a little softy to begin with, so a little punchy. Seven iron, left hand goes up, right hand goes down, right arm straightens. Oh, Tommy Fleetwood. Fantastic, and again. Good. Then we can increase range of motion. Feeling that pressure point number three doing its thing. Yeah, good, eh? There we go. So that is Golfing Machine Muscle Power. That is page 71, 6B1D Extensor Action. It's just one small paragraph of the whole page. It's just that. Extensor Action gives an indispensable control of all strokes. Stretching the left arm through the number three pressure point, which is there. Gives the same action as pulling on both ends of the rope. Left hand going up, right hand going down. Pulling on both ends of the rope. That is, it pulls both the left arm and club shaft totally in a straight line. Remember the last video where we hit golf ball and then low point, where we're in a perfectly straight line because of, we know what the left shoulder's doing. That, and just moving from the bent left wrist to the flat left wrist during and as the loading action are very effective for short shot procedures 10 19 0. There we go, dead simple. Left hand comes up, right hand comes down, understanding how the bending and straightening of the right arm is a power accumulator and the pressure point number three, which goes with that power accumulator. That, ladies and gents, is impact. Well done. Thank you very much. <laughs>